Despite viewers loving it and hating it, the terminal list was unquestionably a big hit for Amazon Prime Video this summer. Millions of fans couldn't get enough of Chris Pratt's Revenge Quest series. Because let's be honest, nobody wants to mess with a Navy SEAL who has an axed grind. So stay tuned and don't go away, because we're revealing how Chris Pratt and LaMonica Garrett bonded on the set of the terminal list. First up, how did Chris Pratt and LaMonica Garrett form a special bond on the set of The Terminal List. You're about to find out. In the action-packed series The Terminal List, LaMonica Garrett plays Commander Bill Cox. Cox is the antagonist in the story, and Chris Pratt's character, James Reese, vows to get his revenge against Cox, who is responsible for the death of Reese's family and SEAL team. In their climactic final showdown, the pair fight one another to the death, and Reese is able to drug Cox. With Cox incapacitated, Reese dumps him in the ocean, and he eventually drowns. Despite playing arch nemeses on TV, however, in real life, the two actors have grown into the best of friends. In a recent interview, LaMonica Garrett said, Chris is great. He was a wrestler in high school, and we both love UFC fights. Me and him were behind the scenes talking about fighting. Then we had a scene later on in the season where we got to fight, roll around, as they would say, and jiu-jitsu. After filming leading up to the release of the show, we got to go to an actual UFC fight and sit ringside, which was fun. Garrett also thinks that Chris is a great guy to work with and said that Chris brings great energy and a ton of enthusiasm to the set. You might recognize Garrett from writer-director Taylor Sheridan's Yellowstone series prequel 1883. With all of the squabbling that we routinely hear about taking place on film and TV sets, it's always refreshing to to see lasting friendships formed between cast members. Next up, speaking of Yellowstone, is the terminal list Amazon Prime's Yellowstone? Let's take a look. People are saying that Amazon Prime may have found its Yellowstone with the terminal list because both shows have one very big thing in common. Critics dislike them, but the viewing public absolutely adores them and can't get enough. The terminal list has a 39% critic score and a 94% audience score. Clearly, there's a huge disparity there, with critics overwhelmingly giving the series a thumbs down, while audiences are giving it two thumbs up and five stars. Mind you, the terminal list is only in its first season, so of course those numbers may change. Season 1 of Yellowstone did not fare much better, receiving 55% from 51 critics, with an audience score of 82%. However, since then, Yellowstone's popularity has exploded, and today it's one of the most powerful shows in America. After Season 1 of Yellowstone came to an end, many critics stopped paying attention to the series altogether. Season 2 of Yellowstone received a critic score of 88%, but that was based solely on the scores of 8 critics. Season 3 received a 100% critic score, but that was from 6 critics. Season 4 of Yellowstone, which could be the second to last season, has a critic score of 90% based on 10 critics. So the question on people's minds now is whether or not the terminal list will follow a similar path to Yellowstone. Up next, will we see the terminal list season 2? Let's find out. The first season of the terminal list has been a definite hit with millions of fans, but we still haven't heard anything about an official season 2 renewal or release date. Executive producer Jack Carr, the author of the original book series, says, Chris wants to do it, and Amazon wants to do it, but it could all fall apart. It would be an eight-part series based on the second book, True Believer. We shall see. Pratt and his management team are currently negotiating his return to the series, despite the brutal toll the series took on his body. Carr further explained, We almost killed Chris last time. He carried the weight of the show on his shoulders, but never complained once. Virtually every scene was him. It was a lot of work. I've worked in a couple of subplots to take the pressure off him in the next series. The one thing that many people are wondering about is how Chris Pratt's character could survive a brain tumor and keep having adventures. According to the books, the tumor is benign, and Pratt is medically cleared to return as a U.S. government assassin. Hopefully, fans of the series will get their official season 2 renewal and release date soon. But as Carr said, these things can crumble and fall apart at any moment. It's just the nature of the Hollywood beast. It's even possible for season 2 to be officially 
renewed, only to have studio executives pull the plug on the first day of shooting. This has happened before in the TV and film world, and it can certainly happen again. Executives retain the legal right to pull the plug on any show or film at any moment. Stay tuned and don't go away, because we're about to reveal five shows that are similar to The Terminal List. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Next up, what can you watch as you wait for Season 2 of The Terminal List? You're about to find out. If you're itching to watch spy thrillers in the vein of The Terminal List, we've got you covered. If you haven't already, you need to check out Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan, which first aired back in 2018 and is still running strong. If you're a spy thriller junkie, you won't be sorry. Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan follows CIA analyst Jack Ryan, played by TV and film star John Krasinski, who quits his office job to pursue terrorists posing a threat to U.S. national security. Ryan uncovers and traces some highly suspicious bank transfers that help lead him to the culprits before they are able to wreak havoc and spill innocent blood on American soil. And believe me when I say that Jack Ryan isn't just some pencil pushing CIA analyst who sits in an office all day. He's a former Marine, isn't afraid to get his hands dirty, and he's fully equipped to dispatch terrorist threats. Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan is similar to the Terminal List in terms of its military and detective aspects. Oh, and like the Terminal List, Jack Ryan is sure to get your adrenal glands pumping over time. Krasinski does a superb job of bringing the iconic Jack Ryan character to life. If you feel like binging Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan, sign into Amazon Prime and enjoy the show. Up next, have you heard of the new series Reacher? If not, no need to worry because we're about to fill you in. One of the hottest and newest spy shows on Amazon Prime today is Reacher. The series first aired this year and is based on the novel Jack Reacher, who was famously portrayed by megastar Tom Cruise on the big screen. The series centers around former military police officer Jack Reacher, played by actor Alan Richson. Reacher's job is to essentially travel around the country to dispatch criminal threats. Reacher is arrested for murder while visiting a foreign destination, but upon his release, he vows to get down to the bottom of a conspiracy involving police officers, politicians, and prominent businessmen that stretches far and wide. But wait, we're not done yet. Another popular spy series that's similar to The Terminal List is 2018's Bodyguard. Bodyguard stars actor Richard Madden as David Budd, a retired Scottish war veteran. After his retirement, Budd takes a job as a special protection officer and is tasked with guarding a controversial politician. Budd has conflicting values with his client and must decide the best way to handle the issue without compromising her security. Bodyguard is similar to the terminal list because of its themes. It's got everything, the military, security, and conspiracy. This pulse-pounding series debuted on Netflix back in 2018 and has two seasons. Finally, what are two amazing series that are in the vein of the terminal list? Back in 2020, during all of the COVID-19 related noise that was blasting through the airwaves, a great spy series debuted called Hunters. Some of Hollywood's best writers and directors, including Jordan Peele and Alfonso Gomez Rejon, collaborated to make Hunters. The action follows a group hunting Nazis conspiring to create a Fourth Reich on American soil. The Hunters are led by Mayor Offerman, played by Al Pacino, a Polish Jewish survivor thirsty for revenge and justice for his comrades who suffered at the hands of the Nazis. Hunters is similar to The Terminal List because of its investigative aspects and storyline that revolves around vengeance. You can watch all 10 episodes of Hunters when you sign in to Amazon Prime Video. The fifth action-packed spy thriller that is similar to The Terminal List is The Blacklist, which ran from 2013 to 2022. To this day, The Blacklist remains one of the hottest spy thrillers thrillers ever produced for television. The series centers around Raymond Red Reddington, played by famed actor James Spader, not to be confused with David
David Spade. Reddington is a former U.S. Navy officer turned criminal who surrenders to the FBI and offers to disclose the operations of renowned criminals in exchange for immunity from prosecution. However, Red's possession of the blacklist enables him to run his illegal operations right under the oblivious noses of federal agents. Chances are you've probably heard of the blacklist already, but there's only one way to learn what all the fuss is about. You have to watch it. The blacklist shares similar themes to the terminal list, and you can watch the hit series almost anywhere because it's all over the place. Netflix, DirecTV, Fubo TV, Prime Video, Vudu, Apple iTunes, and Google Play Movies. That's a wrap for today's video. Thank you for watching.